said, going through matches that is going to be hard for the uh, character playing against Pika. That's Mega Man here. Going to see King Arc, New York Staple, and uh, Mouse Rat trying to make a name for himself. Already has a name for sure, but trying to improve his reputation even more. Let's just beat Leaf Shield. Oh, yeah. Just straight up. Pikachu back in. <laughs> So, quite honestly, like, I, there's a reason that this character, despite low representation, is deemed to be in that consistent top three. Wow. Because some matchups devolve into quick attack and back air, what do you do? And Mega Man, in a lot of scenarios, just says, well, I guess I'd avoid it or fold. Yeah, I do want to point out, however, um, really excellent matchup knowledge right there from uh, uh, King Art, or not, rather from Mouse Rat. Um, recognizing that King Cup was going to have to stay on the floor to, to throw out the Leaf Shield, and then from there parried on reaction. Excellent. Um, this matchup knowledge right there. And got a full punish for it. Yeah. Oozes. Wow. You jumped! You jumped at that? You I mean, psycho! I mean, landing on the top platform <laughs> is kind of scary, but you got you don't jump in Air Tornado. It's going to blow you You're gonna up. You're going to explode. Oh, the auto can't, or the, the, uh, down air onto the platform, but then running off in an attempt to get more. It didn't quite uh, get more than 23, but I love the creativity from King Art trying to get uh, fancy with some of these platform extensions. Mouse Rat getting to ledge, and you're never really going to be able to consistently edge guard Pikachu, but what King Art's been doing amazingly is yeah. find grab after grab and keep things in a much tighter bubble, a much tighter burst range for them. One thing about Mega Man it's, is that, like, you know, he can catch landings better than most characters, um, and he really does have a, a, a good time, even if you're, you know, kind of like Pikachu that has mix-ups upon mix-ups upon mix-ups, um, can really just cover so much space with what he, he uh, does with landing traps. Great patience there from King Ark. I like the idea from Mouse Rat landing on the platform forward smash as an anti-air, but no dice and almost a clean conversion into the forward air, but just too much percentage. Yeah, that's the thing. When you, you Pika, you're like your big thing is that you're safe on shield almost all the time. Mega Man has one of the fastest out of shield options of the game with Z drop uh, Metal Blade, uh, frame four. So like it's it's crazy. Same as their back air. Yeah. Well, um, back air is later because you have yeah. to jump. But yeah. Um, like that, like that's the crazy thing about it, and that SS is going to be enough. A full two stock lead right now for King Arc, and we're back to stage. Excellent utilization of the lead. Yeah, still, you know, great recognition right there in my mouth, of knowing the parry. Um, okay, that switch up there. Uh, how are any little bit of damage that King Arc gets here is going to be really huge. Again, that Z drop out of shield so big, especially on moves like Pika Dash type that are pretty difficult to punish. And the up air gets uh, beaten out by that uh, by that landing down air. Oh, a is able to air dodge straight through, and even the consistent Pikachu stuff is not connecting for Mouse Rat. These forward smashes at ledge are getting beaten out by King Arc's innate patience. And the spacing on that upbeat was immaculate. Getting around that down air, which can be tough to at least not get hit by the sour spot, which would have absolutely killed there. Um, uh -oh. oh, you died. Oh, no, no Pika, you're Pikachu. You're, you're, Pikachu. That, yeah, you're, you're, you're in the bottom blast zone without a jump, but you're still fine. It's okay. <laughs> Shout out to Brady Boy for the subscription. Thank you so much. And All right. 170, we're getting to see if King Arc can close out this game with a three stock. Amazing reversals off these wall jumps thus far. Looking yeah. for a down air yet again. Back air misses its mark as another dash attack for Mouse Rat and is punished accordingly. Good delay on King Arc. It does have a surprising amount of shield stun. Mm -hmm. So King Arc just being careful, playing on reaction to some of these connections. Up throw will do it. But man, you're in a you're in a bit of a hole, and it plays into Mount, what feels like the weakness of Mouse Rat's Pikachu, not necessarily Pikachu in general. While Mouse Rat has the bread and butters down, they don't always feel willing to extend. <laughs> don't die to that again, please. Yeah, please. <laughs> not that. You one. can die to that one. Though. Yeah, that one's Let's okay. Let's jump there. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one. Um, but yeah, that's um. Again, when it comes to just like like quality of play, you're not exactly playing the Mega Man's like King Arc. Um, the way that he's spacing uh, you know, on shield, the way that he is casting those landings has just been immaculate this whole set. He's mixing up his disadvantage so well, which can be a weakness for Mega Man. Uh, does have, a, I think, personally, a really linear recovery. I think if you just kind of sit at ledge and like let Mega Man go to ledge, a lot of times Mega... That's depressing. Um, but a lot of times they uh, like will go past ledge, and like Mega Man has to either now retreat back or double jump, and you can just react and kill him. Um, yeah, it's like the... 
the trick when it comes to Mega Man, uh, similar to Rob in a lot of ways, yep. as we see Dill use it a lot. Like, Mega Man players, up B, then jump. Yeah. Every time. And once you get that in your head, suddenly their recovery and their uh, yeah. the edge guarding them gets a whole yeah. lot easier. Yeah, and it does take like uh, the, the the recognition of a good Mega Man is is one that that mixes up like going to ledge and jumping. Of course. Um, and like he are certainly going to be one of those players. Um, and the, the the thing the thing with Mega Man is just like it it feels like it's weird because Ma Mouse Rider feels like he does have experience just based on how he's playing his game plan, but. It feels like his experience is not transferring over to what makes this matchup so hard uh, for um, for Mega Man. Like Pikachu can relentlessly pressure this character, like and not really give him a whole lot of options. Um, but right now, like the space has just really been in the favor of um, of King Art, and that's what I was uh, reading into a little bit earlier. Uh, Mouse Rat, a very studious player, and tries to take advantage of Pikachu's defensive tools first and foremost. Full hop Thunder Jolt, quick attacks to center, uh, bouncing back and forth and playing out of shield. King, but Mega Man's a type of matchup where you need to smother this character when you get the opportunity to. So a mixture of Mouse Rat's slight hesitation combined with King Arc mixing up their defensive options very, very well, not only for, both in timings and choices, leads Ma King Arc to sustaining a lot of stage, sustaining a lot of stocks, and always managing to find their openings first. Yeah, and it's taking really full advantage of you know those defensive Pikachu habits, as we mentioned. Right there, the quick pack center stage got was got caught in startup and got uh, hit with the F smash, um, allowing him to get stock and has already racked up a clean 45%, putting him in an excellent position to move forward in this game. And it really just King Arc's defensive options off the ledge have been so good in the mix of there. That one not going to work out, but is living. Yeah, the sour spot as King wow. uh, Mousetrap goes for it yet again. You can sometimes snipe a little bit below ledge with that forward smash sweet spot, given the slightly larger hitbox, but a great air dodge from King Art gets them right by as that was an up smash. That could have yeah. been an up throw. Up throw wouldn't have killed, but yeah. Mouse Rat fumbling in the bag, and that stock is going to take a lot more effort in order to close out, given how King Art has been playing thus far. Yeah, Leaf Shield, like, kind of, you know, the thing about it is that it's an incredible move, but... It is not safe on shield, no. not in the slightest. No, um, it is a mix up what he does on your shield because he can jump away, but um, no yeah. town and city. Your counter pick, unfortunately, not working out for you here. Uh, for a mouse up, but this should be enough. Yes. I was also down smash. It's like stuff like that that I want to see Mouse Rat go for more, and we'll get it in the replay. But the the iota comes from like if you're gonna full hot thunder jolt. Sometimes you don't need to uh, you don't need to always drift back with it. Drift forward, drift in, go for these landing neutral airs. It's a frame two move that you can combo into just about anything. Like be willing to commit because you're so safe with some of these hitboxes and uh, your frame data as a whole. Not to mention the size. Yeah. Okay. Hover has been in a significantly better position here thus far. Wow, and an air dodge read that is going to be enough to get stuck. Uh, after you know a pretty significant lead by King Arc, turns it around. However, uh, King Arc doing just the same and turning it around himself, um, and going to be able to take that stock. Yeah, see that's the mix-up uh, on Shield there. Um, but once he does the full thing on Shield, you can absolutely just react and up smash. Oh, Thunder Jolt snipes the jump, but Kit Mouse Rat not going further as that was a backer out of Shield, but misreading the uh, position that they were in. I guess they thought they were uh, facing forward. Not so, as Mouse Rat is starting to play a little bit more in that mid-range, playing, uh, playing with the T-Jolt as an approaching option, and always trying to be in range of quick attack exactly, which is getting, uh, which is tripping King Arc up when they dash forward and back. High roll that read on the Thunder. That low profile. <laughs> that low profile! A high roll read and never punished. Ooh. Pikachu, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the best character in the game, don't at me! <laughs> oh my god, you almost died. Okay, nice. Retreating the platform there, right there. I really like that from King Arc. Um, I feel like we're seeing Mouse Rack get a little bit more comfortable in just how oh! they want to play, but too little, too late, as you're seeing many read of on the, the drift out! Yeah, reading okay. out, catching a lot of rolls, uh, catching a lot oh of these spacing, god. and holy moly. You, you, you saved that replay, right, Devin? 
of the okay. good golly to my this is such a good good tracking here though yeah oh the, the actually missed through double jump but but nice. a missed b reverse right there um that actually might have not look you're gonna see right here he b reverses the other oh. way i don't yeah. know if the t-jolt would have come out in time i don't think it would have but it would have put him in a position where i don't think he would have gotten back aired like look at this look where he goes because he, t he yeah he b reverses in if he was drifting out you're gonna see it, it, it pushes Pikachu in. If he was just drifting in normally, he doesn't get hit by that back air. One, two. Yeah. And you're facing that tail outward, which while in the move, while uh, Pikachu's up air and things like that can be considered disjoints uh, when the move is active, but it is a hurt box when it's not. <laughs> yeah. And the, like the thing is, like if if he doesn't be reverse there, he's likely not as far in. Yeah. So he's not going to get hit by back air. Well, yeah, because the, the input he's trying to do is outward. He's trying to drift away and yeah. hit Thunder Jolt, and, and, but instead he gets the B-reverse by just doing it a little yeah. too quickly. That's so unfortunate. And then yeah. we can this, watch, the, this, pri Let's this. watch the privilege, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you could. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu's tail is a part of his body. Psych! Oh. You thought... <laughs> <laughs> Ball got him, GG. That looks like Z axis too. Is what's really funny. It looks like Pikachu's tail is like going into the Z axis. That's so <laughs> funny. Um, yeah, shake I my mean, hand. Shake my hand because King Arc, despite everything, despite all of the the matchup struggles, despite how much on paper Pikachu can dominate, Mouse Rat didn't capitalize until it was a little bit too late. They had one amazing stock and then kind of fl uh, flustered and fumbled when it came to King Arc's both. Offstage pressure, both from a defensive and offensive perspective. Yeah, and it ended up, you know, just being kind of King Arc's game. That last yeah. game, of course, much closer than the first. For um, sure. But, uh,.